Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Because today I'm going to be doing your uh, weekly reading. And this will be for the 22nd of March until the 28th. And this will be for my Aries. So I hope you guys are good. All is good here. Um, I got my brother. Uh, he's here now. Um, but his stuff isn't all moved in. We're working on it little by little. So, but everything is going great here. So, yeah, yeah. So, let's give these some shuffles and find out what's going on with you guys. I think I'm coming down with a little cold. So, if you hear me coughing or sneezing or whatever, maybe it's allergies. I don't know, but. more shuffle and we'll get on here. Your reading. All right, angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Aries needs to know for the week of the 22nd through the 28th of March, please? Can't believe March is almost over. Ugh. Two more. One more. All right, let's see what's going on. First cards are your inner. These are the ones that are closest to you. These are the cards that may be happening now for you or soon to come in. I have the moon, okay? Five of hearts. This is... um. <clears throat> this is a good omen, okay? This is, uh, per bleh, 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 predicts, um, good fortunes are coming into you. So that is awesome. We have good news coming in, okay? We have the Jack of Diamonds. Good news is coming into you. Um, and this is coming in fast. It's the rider. He is coming in quickly for you. So then I have the key. Okay, good things are coming into you, guys. This is uh, an auger of success. Um, but you need to do a little bit of work to get that success um, that is coming into you. Okay, the key, it, it's kind of like putting that key in the door, unlocking it, and, you know, turning the doorknob and opening the door. That's a, that little bit of work you have to do to open that door if it's locked. You know, so you need to open up. You need to listen to your angels, guides, and spirits. And you need to uh, pay attention, you know, put in that little bit of effort to get those big rewards. This week is going to be calm for you. You're going to have some calm things going on. It's not going to be as hustle bustle and rush and rush and everything. It's going to be a more of a calm week for you. Um, I have the Jack or the Queen of Spades. That is the Armoire or the Cupid. This um, is great love and longing. Um, somebody is looking at you with great longing. Somebody is looking um, at you uh, and loves, loves you. So they want to be with you. So that is awesome. Then I have the tree. Good health. Um, good health is in your horizon here. Um, so that is good. All good things are coming that way. And I have the uh, scythe. 
Ten of Diamonds. This is, uh, you're going to have a disappointment coming up. And it's, um, you know, kind of like uh, something that, I'm trying to feel it, guys. Um, uh, it, 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 it's a disappointment of a person. Um, I feel as if it is a person. There's going to be a disappointment in someone that you know or somebody that you love. Maybe something happens to them and it's going to be kind of disappointing to you um, in, a, in a way um, this week. I have the Eight of Hearts. This is the cat. There's flattery going on, mystery going on um, about a person um, that you have uh, been thinking about or somebody coming into you. But there's that flattery and that mystery of a person coming into you. All right. So the next cards are your outer. These are the cards that want to come into you. These are the cards that are out there that will be coming in, but it's going to take a little bit more time to come in at the tower. Sickness. Um, this denotes a sickness. Um, so be on the lookout that you may be coming down with a cold or coming down with some kind of a sickness illness. Um, make sure you take your vitamins and things like that so that you can uh, protect yourself. Take your echinacea, take your vitamin C, um, things along that line and get your sleep, get enough water, get some exercise, you know, things along that nature so that you don't get that sickness. And the sun card. Um, this is happiness. Happiness wants to come in um, and popularity. So people like you, they want you to come in. They want to come into you and you are, you know, they, they love to be around you. People love to be around you. And that is a great thing. Then I have the king of clubs. This is the bear. This is success. Success in all of your um, adventures that are coming in. It's a motherly type success. It's a loving success, caring success that is going to be coming into you. Then I have the wine. Um, the queen of clubs. This is be cheerful, be giddy, have that glass of wine. You know, um, be yourself. Don't, um, you know, just have fun. Have fun with everything. King of Hearts. This is the hand in hand. You have a friend um, that, you know, th th is close to you that is going to turn into more than just a friendship. Okay. Um, it may turn into kind of like a love affair of some sort. But, um, and if you are married, this means you are married to your best friend. So that is awesome. Six of Hearts. This is the house. Success. Success in all of your, uh, happy future, uh, prosperity, um, and a happy marriage is in sight for you. The friends that you have, okay, this is the dog. The friends that you have are loyal. They're true friends. They are ones to hold on to. Um, this is great. That's a great card. And then I have the railroad. You guys have been going through a long, uh, drawn out journey. Um, one that, uh, needs to stay to end, one that is coming to an end. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, it can be different for all people, but it can be a journey of um, some sort. Maybe you were in a relationship of some sort and this relationship you've been holding on to, um, hoping that they come back or something along that nature. And it's just dragging on, you know, and you're finally going to get over it. It's finally going to be ended um, this long journey that you've been going through. So, that are that is your main reading, guys. So let's talk to uh, the universe and see if there's any input that universe wants to bring into that reading. Any clarification that the universe wants to let us know for my Aries. shuffle. All right, universe, give me some clarification on that reading for my Aries, please. For the 22nd through the 28th. All right. 
They want you to uh, not explode like that volcano. Okay, we have that volcano here. Volcano. So don't explode. Don't um, kind of keep your your mannerisms down. Keep your anger down a little bit. Um, because you have a tendency of just blowing. Um, maybe you hold things in like I do. Um, I hold things in until they just beat me down. You know, I get to the point where I just hold it in for so long and then all of a sudden I blow. And when I blow, it is not good. Um, so be on the lookout for that, okay? They want you to um, stay focused on your goals, okay? We have the crystals. So stay focused on your goals, the goals that you want to obtain. Um, stay focused on those things that you really want, um, those things that you want to manifest in your life. Stay stay focused. Stay focused with all of everything that's going around on with you, your friends, your um, job. You know, just stay on the lookout for things. Start to unfold. It's all about unfoldment. So maybe do some meditation. Maybe um, that will help you to unfold. Maybe I'll help you talk a little bit more, you know, with that that volcano there instead of erupting into this, uh, you know, irate person. You know, maybe we need to, um, you know, just calm down a little bit. You know, start to talk a little bit instead of holding it all in and building it. You know, just open up, open up. And then we have earth magic. So the fairies there are there. Um, the fairies are going to help you. They're going to, uh, you know, bring all that good stuff into you. So you guys, ha you know, go outside, spend some time in nature. Um, you don't, you know, when you spend time out in nature, you look at things differently. When you come back, it's like, I, I feel just a sense of relief and a sense of calmness. When I come out from a walk in nature, it's just so refreshing. Even if you can't go out and, and walk, uh, you know, amongst the trees and things, sit out on a deck, sit outside and, just, you know, the weather's starting to get nicer. So just enjoy that beautiful weather and you, you'll start to feel, you know, a, a weight lifted off of you. So that is beautiful. All right, let's talk to Spirit. Spirit, please give me a card that my Aries needs to hear. A card that they need to hear for this week of the 28th. 22nd through the 28th. Uh, dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you. And we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan, and when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember, though, spirit's timeable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life. And before you know it, it's a miracle. Well, have been taken place. We love you so much. So that miracle is um, going to take place. You know, you guys have to let go. You can't think that you are the only one that can do it. Um, you have your angels, you have your guides, you have your spirit, you have your God, you have fairy, whatever you guys believe in. Um, they're there to help you. And it may not manifest the way that you guys want it to manifest, right? It may not happen in the timeline that you want it to happen, but it's going to happen. The magic, you know, get off of thinking 
you know, all the time and just kind of go about your, your day. And those things are going to manifest for you and they're going to come to you and that magic is going to come to you and it's already starting to take place. So that is wonderful. All right, one last card for you guys. All right, this is your reflection card for the week. A re reflection card for you guys. I turn every experience into an opportunity. So think about it. Every Everything that you do, every experience that you have been through, is an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity um, to, you know, learn from. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. Turn, I turn every experience into an opportunity. That's beautiful. So I hope this helps you guys. Remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful end of your March. And until next time.